An elf's honor worth less than a man's shit. Nice razors you got there. It's chamomile and goatweed. She brewed teas for stomach pain. Aha! So she did make potions. Drove make her nuts. You seek someone, her stranger? Father testified. Potions? Are you mad? in the forest with my unit. Might at least have died with dignity. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So's we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on, how do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we... Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Rubin. You've got the streets respect, Witcher. Mm. Is this truly what? What's the hurry? To be a purveyor of cheap whores and watered down wine? Hey, I can't I'll control what I inherit. For you can control deeds, what you do, madam. I know. Well, you know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, you're always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let Think me know. Think I post me trousers. People. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh. Just wanted you to meet my new pals. For the bugger the fuck off. Cause we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right, and don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Like in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he, Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is... I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. Rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? 
Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Don't stand as much mugs anymore. Oh! How loudish! <laughs> Telling you for the last time, go away. Trouble? I'm Mercy, warning you. We two children. I serve the eternal fire. <laughs> Before they lose their mother as well. Locked. But looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Find it? No. Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, we go. Time to shine. Get him! Tiana from the Square Tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. That gem might be worth snooping around for. Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. What was it happened to Faltus again? What's your head about? Zoltan? Get out! About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Sure, dear. Ha! <laughs> the sea hills are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilzin? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Anglers Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. 
So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside this townhouse, gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Our mutual friend, Ravi, was just about to play for his life, and... Uh... Oh, you got the card! What else do you want? If you just give me up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the witch will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say we add some spice to the game? Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play!
he has a mate. And he sits still, or you'll hurt yourself. But, but he won. So, now we'll play something else. You'll kill Don't know how I'll repay you. Natalis card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. I are here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar bills in to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. He certainly keeps the card there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. So I'd Caesar never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. My taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Shivi! She's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish. And I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, well that's, that's Geralt. Does, say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. And the pond town? You betcha! Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what the Zanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's cause you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. Just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shit. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? your rods, we're off to the Ponta. Can't let this drivel stand, not in me own home. Well then, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? 
Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Ponter Pike, aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life beat. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? I'm not so sure. Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morhen? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Both and heard many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Geralt, go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. You forget what happened last time. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Doors open. Hmm. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Sultan, time we were on our way. Uh, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, hop to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Damn the horse, son! Nice days, Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? 
I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Ugh. If you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of true silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my beard. Ah, at last. I fear the body has gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards get away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse in. I'll tend to the others. What? I can't understand a word. As well stop.
Is this thing? You there? Oh, help me! This damn lid won't budge! Oh. Whoever put it on the sarcophagus was clearly thinking about grave robbers. Uh, you've no idea who I am, have you? None. Professor Vermont John, Oxenfurt University, Faculty of Applied Archaeology. As a certain ancient map would have it, there's a priceless elven tome in this sarcophagus, the Darar Manuscript. It could shed entirely new light on the NL and Shay conflict. So, will you help? All right, let's open it. Blood are glowing. Vampire. Probably regenerates here. <sighs> Just five more minutes. Is it 1358 yet? No. Then fuck off. Uh, I'm ever running into things like that. Well, come on. Open it again. Why? See an Elven manuscript there? Because I sure as hell didn't. I hadn't the chance to look. Perhaps he enjoys bedtime reading and keeps it under his pillow. We should let him rest. But it's better this way. Trust me. Come on, don't make me beg. I must speak to the vampire. No. Oh, you're special like... Yeah, sorta. We're due to hold a conference about the White Fleet soon, if you'd like to prepare a paper. No chance. See ya. Come now, don't make me beg. I must speak to the vampire. <laughs> Leave me, <laughs> swiving drowners. <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha! Highly amusing. If... if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah, you can go. If you're able. Ha! What are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. So long. So... You get him? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Sultan. Thanks, Geralt. Remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. <laughs> <laughs>